is a six-woman battle royal. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, Alexa. Plenty of action coming up as we have six of WWE's top names ready to go here. Oh, man, Michael. Six-man matches like this always remind me of world class back in the 1980s. Ladies and gentlemen, we have six of WWE's top superstars competing in this Battle Royal coming up next. I don't know about you guys, but I've been looking forward to this Battle Royal all night. Let's get this thing started. As we get ready to go, tell me, do you have a favorite heading into this battle royal? I've learned never to pick a favorite in a match like this. I mean, we once saw the Brooklyn Brawler win a battle royal, which tells me anything can truly happen here in WWE. Six superstar battle royal coming up next, guys. And Cole, I can realistically see any one of these six superstars walking away with a win here tonight. opportunity for these six superstars here tonight guys but as the great dusty rose would say only one will make it to the pay window at the end of this one The always colorful Asuka making her way to the ring. And Cole, Asuka couples that color and charisma with an unmatched level of athleticism.
We've seen some heartbreaking betrayals in WWE over the years, but Alexa Bliss insulting Nia Jax may be one of the most heartbreaking things we've ever seen. Yeah, you got that right, Michael. Nia Jax had Alexa Bliss's back ever since Bliss joined the Raw roster. They even had a seemingly stable friendship. But when Alexa thought the cameras were off, the world learned what Little Miss Bliss truly thought of Nia Jax. Going back to Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss, as you losers know, I'm not above name calling, but some of the stuff Alexa had to say about Nia really crossed the line. Yeah, Alexa's words really sparked a fire in Nia Jax, who earned sweet revenge on the grandest stage of them all when Nia finally became Raw Women's Champion. Look at Sasha Banks dishing it out. A boss in control. She's not playing any games tonight. Everyone better watch out. Even me. She's starting to get on a roll. And she delivers a lightning quick strike. Carmella may be in a bad way here. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. Hey, unless you're Andre the Giant, battle royals are difficult. And she's clearly not Andre the Giant. So I can understand struggling a little bit here. She's definitely slowing down here a nice. bit. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the road for her. Not by a long shot. A great six-man battle royal was the number 30 over-the-top rope challenge on Monday Night Raw back in 2004. The WWE Universe saw Goldberg, Mark Henry, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, and Booker T battle it out to see who would be the last superstar standing and earn the coveted 30th entrance spot for that year's Royal Rumble match. All right, you took us back in time with the number 30 over the top rope challenge on Raw. The thing about that battle royal that is so memorable to me is the way Goldberg dominated the match early on. Goldberg was the last superstar to enter the ring and just started dropping his opponents. One by one, superstars were eliminated, the first being Rob Van Dam, followed by Booker T. And just like that, they were down to four superstars, Michael. You saw how resourceful Chris Jericho and Randy Orton were to survive against the super heavyweights like Goldberg and Mark Henry. Y2J did get eliminated after Mark Henry was gone. It came down to Randy Orton and Goldberg. The battle royal ended when Goldberg press slammed Orton out of the ring on to fellow Evolution members Nature Boy Ric Flair and Batista. If you want to talk strategy against Asuka, you have to recognize her lethal and sudden offense. Yeah, if you're looking to neutralize that, you have to know about Asuka's hybrid style. She's mastered so many different elements of the game. Snapmare. Carmella is on the attack. Byron alluded to Asuka's options through her hybrid style, but her competition's options are often limited to tap or nap. Oh, my last nap, I had dreams about walking down a beach with Asuka. And then I realized I was actually running in terror. We'll see how long she can keep it up. I think oh, she's man. trying to prove a point here. Double Russian leg sweep. And it's Alexa Bliss with the reversal. Charlotte turns it around. Nice move. damage to the back. Remember when Alexa Bliss made her debut in NXT? She was such a nice girl. She would throw glitter into the audience and show her acrobatic moves. Yeah, she was like female Byron Saxton. That didn't work well. That's not a bad thing. She's in a bad way here, Byron. Don't count her out yet, Michael. A simply gorgeous Hurricane Rana. She is just so dominant. Carmella is making her presence known. Carmella is on the attack. And Charlotte was able to get out of danger there. Lucky for her. Charlotte is getting ready here. 
natural selection. It does not look good for Carmella here. She's out of it, guys. Yeah, she's leaving herself wide open here. And Charlotte is your winner. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here is your winner, Charlotte Flair! Wow, what an amazing performance we saw here in this elimination match. I'll tell you, I don't think the average viewer at home truly understands exactly how much endurance goes into winning a match of this nature. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.